Mark! Prince Vice said he would meet with us. He's turning the shrine into a meridian base, isn't he? Why are we meeting with him again, Lark? We finished our mission. We have to report back to him. Huh. Hmm.
Here to discuss your reward, Lark? Have you heard anything about Alf? Not a thing. He's probably gone and got himself killed somewhere. Gruen will be so heartbroken. First, she was exiled from nobility for poisoning my mother. And now this. Now she's lost any chance of being mother to the Emperor. The poor thing. Sir Vice, why did you attack Alkina? Alkina? Because they're guided by Reel's law. They wanted to enslave us in order to spread Reel's law throughout the world. Enslave us? They told us to destroy the Termillion Republic in exchange for steady ray provisions. Those extremists make me sick! What is Reel's law exactly? It is everything and nothing. It calls for us to return to the Earth and welcome Oblivion. Correct. Real's Law is a school of thought that proposes that all living things should die. Why should our Empire follow a god in religion that forces the Apocalypse upon all of us? Did you order us to go to Antrax with the intention of attacking Alkina all along? With Gertab sealed, this land is all too simple to invade. The Skywalk was just an excuse. Did you order the assassination of the previous diva? The girl who threatened the destruction of our country? Do you think I'd give the pleasure of killing her to someone else? I thought it would be fitting. Imagine having her die at dawn in Antrax, like the good little end times diva she was! Huh. Hmm. Why didn't you tell us your real plan from the beginning? Because you are the child of Isa. Huh? Diva, tell us the story of Genesis. In the beginning, there was chaos, a world of death enveloped in Hozon. In the center of this chaos, the god Isa created real and imaginal in his own image. By picking the laws they represent, the hymn of ruination was destroyed and the paradise of Noir was born. So went the beginning of this world. But that's just a legend. If you think that makes it false, 
Then you are very naive indeed. Gods do exist. We are guided by their laws in the Holy Land of Noir. If you're religious, maybe. They do, Lark. Deny it all you want, but it is true. You believe in them, Sir Vice? I don't believe. I know! The gods rule over this world. The child of Issa is essentially a compass that guides that rule. So I'm a compass for the gods? I don't get it. You don't have to. Just realize that you have chosen Imaginal's law. If you've chosen a law, you're my enemy. I'm not the sort to keep my enemies by my side. After completing your next mission, I will be revoking your Legionnaire contract. What? You will go to the Termillion Senate as an official Meridian Emissary. Deliver this letter to Head Senator Shelley Greenhill. <sighs> Is there a problem? N no sir. I've left your reward up to Freya in Diamant. Stop by there before heading to the Republic. There's a light ship waiting for you outside town. It is yours to use during the mission. Understood. Thank you for everything. I have one more thing to say. You are your own ruler. Never forget that. So much for Legionnaire work. Guess I'm just a plain old mercenary now, huh? I can't believe you're going to be leaving the Imperial Army. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Prince Vice ended your contract because you chose Imaginal's Law, right? In that case, it's all my fault. It's okay. To be honest, I didn't like how the Imperial Army attacked civilians. But the worst part was when Prince Vice wouldn't believe you. Am I right? Hmm... Hey, what's all this Imaginal's Law stuff about anyway? If real is destruction... Imaginal is creation. It is a law that seeks to facilitate improvement and change for all. Well, I guess you have that going for you, eh? At least the law you chose isn't anything all that weird. I chose that law without really thinking about it, to be honest. I'm glad you chose the way you did. Well, I made up my mind too. My fate is in your hands. What? I'm going to quit the military, become a mercenary, and follow you wherever you go. I see. What? You aren't going to say no to me, are you? Everybody's gone. Serge and Leslie. They may have only been my friends for a short time, but... You know, if they just up and leave on you like that... It's lonely, I know. No, that's not what I mean. I'm not lonely, I just... you know... <laughs> uh, stop laughing at me. Let's get out of here.
Whoa, Lark? Cecile? What have you been up to? You haven't been back home in forever. Everyone's worried about you. Sorry, there's been so much going on since I left. Oh, uh, we can talk later. For now, let's go back to Zamuel's. Is he really doing that bad? The doctor just said to prepare yourself, that's all. Anyway, you need to see him. He's been worried about you guys. His internal organs have already begun to crystallize. There's really nothing we can do for him now. Oh, no. It's a miracle he's breathing right now, to be honest. If you'll excuse me, then. Lark! Mom, what's going on? The doctor couldn't do anything for Samuel? No, he couldn't stop the process. Nobody can. Nobody knows why it's happening to him. I can't believe it! Lark? Is that you? Grandpa! Where's... Adele? She... She was kidnapped by the Alkinians in Antrax. Oh... So she took on her role as D. What do you mean? Wait, Lark! Zamuel's in a lot of pain! Don't make him talk if he doesn't! It's fine, if ya... I'm going to die soon, anyway. I have to tell him the truth before I pass on. It's been 15 years since that day. The diva of Alkinism at the time was being targeted by a man named Ignacy. To keep her daughter from harm's way, she asked us, the Lord Knights, to take her into custody. The contract stated that Adele would take over as diva if something happened to her mother. So Samuel raised her as his own granddaughter, until that day. You knew about all this? Yes, so did your father arrest his soul, and Leon too. We kept it a secret to protect Adele from whatever danger she was in. Ah. Uh. I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. If we couldn't fulfill our contract, it would have ruined the Lord Knight's name. <laughs> Grandpa! Samuel! Looks like... Rex has finally come for me. Grandpa, don't leave us! Lark, tell Leon... I'll be celebrating our success on the other side. Just a little earlier than you. Grandpa! Samuel! Master! Oh, Riffia, 
Sorry to drag you into helping with Grandpa's funeral. What are you? Anytime I was sad or hurt, my mother would always hug me like this. Ah. Uh. Lark. Hey, Lark. I need to ask you something. Huh? Wait, it's not what you think. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Please do continue. Cecile sure is acting strange. Good morning, Lark. Mom, are you sure it's okay for you to be on your feet? Oh, I'm fine. Since Samuel passed, I have a lot more things I have to do around here. Ooh, you done now, ladies' man? What did you need to talk to me about? Oh, I heard from Nico that you guys were going to Carbunculus after this. Is that true? Yeah, it's our last mission. When I'm done with it, I'll be free of the Imperial Army for good. That sounds great! Take me with you! Why would I do that? I want to get revenge for Samuel! What do you mean, revenge? Wait, you mean Ignacy is in Carbunculus? According to Leon, I mean Rastin, yes! Why are you talking about Rastin all of a sudden? Because he's the one that said Ignacy's base is in Carbunculus. We thought he had captured you guys or something. Rastin is already heading for Carbunculus now. Leon is going to Carbunculus? Well, we can't just sit here. I need to go as soon as I can. Me too. I want to go too. Please. Come on, take me too. I can't. You're a civilian. This is a military operation. But what about Rithia? We're taking her because she was born in Tremilia. I'm going to be dropping her off there once the mission's over. That's not fair! Lark, let's take Cecile with us. We aren't going out on a field trip, you know. Hmm, you're only taking Rifia because you think she's cute. Who, me? Well, fine. See if I care. I'll get revenge for Gramps all by myself. Are you sure you should let that little girl go off by herself like that, Lark? Ah, just let her go. What about Nico, though? Where's he? Someone from the military needed to see him. He's talking to them outside. I think it was General Freya. Probably haggling over the mission pay, no doubt. Mr. Lark, what's going on? Cecile just came by yelling, Lark's nothing but a big pervert! Yeah, spoiled brat. First Sergeant Lagoon, I have word about your reward for the Antrax mission from Prince Vice. Yeah? The deal said he'd pay as much as I needed. The Emperor stated that he would provide enough to guarantee Elena a comfortable existence. In addition to medical costs, he has agreed to pay you 100,000 Rico a month in financial aid. You're... serious? Oh yes. He thought you would be most satisfied with that. I can't take that much money. Mom. You do not have the right to refuse it. This agreement has been forged between the Prince and First Sergeant Lagoon. Just take it, Mom. This way... I can run my next mission without worrying about you. Lark. 
If you're satisfied with this, First Sergeant Lagoon, I will take my leave. I'll handle all the paperwork here. Have a pleasant trip to Carbunculus. Thank you. If you become a mercenary, we may just be enemies the next time we meet. What were you talking about with General Freya, Nico? I asked for permission to resign, of course. Oh yeah, I remember you saying something about that. Lark. Well, you heard him. Guess you don't have to worry about making ends meet anymore. Anyway, I have to go now. I have a job to do. Take care of everything around here, okay? I... Never mind. Just be careful. Elena, it was a pleasure. The pleasure was all mine. Have a safe trip back to the Republic. Okay, you two. Let's get out of here. We found a stowaway on board. Cecile! <laughs> First Sergeant Lagoon, do you know her? Yes, unfortunately. Hmm. We'll have to turn back for the Empire, I suppose. I'm sorry, Captain, but would it be okay to take her with us? You want a military light ship to taxi some child around? I just thought it would be a waste of time to turn around now, sir. We've traveled a long way. Huh. Abusing your friendship with the prince again, eh? Ah. Lock the child up in the cabin. We'll kick her out in Carbunculus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lark. I'm assuming there's no hostile intent in your actions. Am I right? Of course. I am only here to deliver this letter from the Prince of the Meridian Empire. I am Lark Bright Lagoon, 
Legionnaire of the Meridian Empire. Just leave this to me. What? Really? Lagoon? Are, are you Lagoon the Cursed? What's he talking about? The one who murdered the diva of Okinaism and brought death and destruction to Okina? You are that wicked, evil Lagoon, are you not? No, no. Lark had nothing to do with the diva's death. But you did infiltrate Antrax and led the army to the shrine, no? Thus bringing death and destruction to the city? Am I wrong? But, but... Enough, Rifia. I have a letter from the prince addressed to the head senator of Termilia. Please, let me speak with her. Hmm, nothing but a pawn for the evil empire. From here on out, you will follow our orders. Understood? Yes, sir. Everyone besides the cursed, return to your lightship and leave our land at once. But how will First Sergeant Lagoon... We will send him back to the Imperial Capital when we determine that it's safe. If your messenger is that same Lagoon, we can't allow the Imperial Army to stay within our borders. We do not want the events of Okina to happen to us. Yes, sir. Mr. Lagoon, please stay at the inn until further instructions. We'll prepare a room for you. In the meantime, we will inform the Senate of your intentions. The Termillion Republic is a nation of freedom. Behave, and we will honor your freedom as well. If you would like to walk around town, please do so at your leisure. We'll release Cecile here. Can the other two stay? I am always by Lark's side. Yep, no way am I leaving him behind. Uh, Nico? you lock up Cecile, the messenger of justice, like that? I'll be on my way now. So I can stay with you guys until you meet with the head senator, right? I heard the whole story. Whatever. Woohoo!